So this is usually the time when I'm exercising, they're doing high intensity interval training, maybe outside, maybe inside, sometimes on my own, sometimes with the video, sometimes going to the gym. Today I'm actually going to be doing some yoga outside so you can join me with that. But before, I'm actually just going to boil the kettle. Um, I'm sure I've got enough water in here. And while I'm waiting for that to boil, I'm going to show you the tea that I'm using. This is the Pucka Matcha Clean Green Tea. I don't brew it super strong and I just have it here in the morning when I wake up. So, water's ready. I'm going to brew this tea. I like to brew this tea and then take it out with me to the terrace to do yoga or exercise because I don't tend to drink my teas like right now when they're super hot. So this can kind of just be chilling with me as I do my yoga. So I'm going to set up outside and you can actually come out with me. So yoga's finished, green tea has been embarked, I've done my meditation, and now it's back into the house for one of my favorite parts of the day. My Bulletproof Fertility Hormone Balance Coffee. So I'm going to take you over to the kitchen. I already have some uh, coffee brewing in the French press. I'm going to go through the stuff that I use to do this and the kind of coffee that I use. But before that... This is optional, but what I usually have in my day at this point is I have a half a teaspoon of butter oil and fermented cod liver oil blended together. It's actually, it's pretty gross, I have to be honest with you. It's chocolate favored, but it also tastes like fish. Um, <laughs> it doesn't sound very appealing. So like I said, I've got the cavatilla of coffee already brewing. Now I use decaf coffee, like I told you about in one of the other videos, caffeine is pretty bad for your fertility, also bad for your hormonal balance. But so I use decaf coffee. Today I'm going with this Clipper brand decaf coffee. Now what's important to know when you're going for decaf is you want to go for something that's Swiss water processed or CO2 processed. Conventionally, when they decaffeinate coffee or tea, they actually use chemical solvents pretty similar to what you would have in, say, um, nail polish remover and acetone. So that's actually what they're using to decaffeinate your coffee. So always go for decaffeinated, but make sure it is Swiss water processed or CO2 processed. Now, you don't have to have to use coffee for this. Some people use like uh, mushroom teas or chicory coffees, dandelion root coffees, things like that. So what I've got in the bottom is a nut milk base. I'm actually using cashew milk. So I'm putting it just a little bit here. The next thing I put in is some gelatin powder. This is Great Lakes gelatin. You can use collagen as well. Not vegetarian for the vegetarians among us, but really, really good for your health. Good for leaky gut, really good for the digestion. So I'm pretty judicious, or not very judicious with this, I guess I should say. And I'm kind of just probably about in between a teaspoon to a tablespoon. I'm kind of smothering it around here. Stirring this around. Now, if you want to and you like things sweet, you can add a bit of stevia. This is just some liquid stevia that I got here in Malta. I don't personally use it because I don't mind if my coffee is... Um, not sweet, but especially if you're transitioning out of using sugar, you can use a few drops of stevia. They actually sell different stevias with, like if you're like a pumpkin spice person or a vanilla latte person, you're trying to wean off the Starbucks and onto something like a good butter coffee here, bulletproof coffee, you can actually get the stevia drops that have a flavoring to them. So whether it's like butter toffee or vanilla, you can look for those on Amazon or maybe even like iHerb or uh, just in Whole Foods or Trader Joe's. Today you can add lots of different things. I usually add maca powder to this. This is my maca latte, but I'm out and my health food store didn't have any more. So at this point I would add two teaspoons of maca powder. Maca is great for your fertility. It helps to improve your sex drive as well. Today I'm going to add something a little bit different. I'm going to add some raw cacao beans. I use them for the antioxidant effects of cacao beans. Also, I like that they're good for my hormones as well. 
got a couple of beans here. I just use one or two. I find that otherwise it kind of taxes my nervous system a bit. And what I like to do is I actually just chop them up. And sometimes I crush them. I don't have to take the skins off, but I do. So the piece de resistance, a big hunk of grass-fed butter. I'm using Kerrygold grass-fed Irish butter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the coffee right over. I like to give it a little stir. I like to give it a good shake, too. Just blend it up for about 10 to 15 seconds. When you blend it up, it turns the good fats into an emulsification and emulsifies them and so it actually gets really creamy like a latte i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that oh yeah you can you're going to be able to see that but there's a really nice kind of sheen on the top there and then i'm pouring it into my cup and what you're going to find is a super creamy super yummy coffee drink